In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of Power Beyond and how it's used to install extra directional valves to control additional attachments on a mobile hydraulic machine. To understand Power Beyond, it is necessary to consider the actual internal structure of directional control valves commonly used on mobile hydraulic equipment. This is the conventional symbol for a four-way, three-position directional control valve. It shows the actual configuration of a subplate mounted valve, whereas this symbol shows the actual internal configuration of a typical four-way, three-position directional valve section used in mobile sandwich valves. This detailed symbol shows an extra gallery commonly called the bypass gallery. As you can see, with the pump running, flow is open to tank in the centre position in both valve configurations. In the case of the mobile sandwich valve section, P flows to T via the bypass gallery. We can see that when the mobile sandwich valve is shifted in either direction, the bypass gallery is blocked. With this in mind, we can now consider a multi-section mobile spool valve and how power beyond is configured. A sandwich type spool valve usually comprises an inlet section, multiple spool sections and an outlet section. The outlet section has external connections to the bypass gallery and the tank gallery and some means of isolating the bypass gallery from the tank gallery. This can be a plug as shown here with this plug inserted the bypass gallery is isolated from the tank or return gallery or a sleeve may be used as shown here. With this sleeve inserted the bypass gallery is isolated from the tank or return gallery. For demonstration purposes I'm using shutoff valves to represent plugs in the outlet section. Note that if the connection between the bypass and tank galleries is open the directional valve is effectively open centre.
like so. On the other hand, if the connection between the bypass and tank galleries is closed, the directional valve is effectively closed centre. like so. Now, let's say we want to power an extra attachment. Of course, we'll need another directional valve to control it. And while we could certainly use another valve the same as the existing, if it's just one extra function required, we can also use a valve which does not feature a bypass gallery. To connect this valve using Power Beyond, we insert the plug or sleeve that isolates the bypass gallery from the tank gallery. Then connect the P port of the auxiliary valve to the bypass gallery. And the T port to the tank gallery. And of course, the original valve sections operate as normal. 